Welcome everybody to a video about the hottest, biggest recent IPO in China for CATL. So the stock has started to trade in Hong Kong. You can see a huge spike in the beginning. Now a little bit of a consolidation here, but um, yeah, I'm personally not invested in the stock so far. But what is interesting, what I'd like to cover in this video is what makes CATR go and seek out money? How does it impact the overall industry? What this may have to do? You know, we're speculating here around NEO, but in more specific, actually, battery swapping as a key business because, well, they have sent me some, um, you know, interesting information here about this IPO and um, what I found the most highlight worthy part here is about that they talk about with vehicle to battery separation and battery standardization at its core CATL is spearheading innovative battery swapping solutions so this was in the you know media note for the CATL Hong Kong listing uh, yeah it's all about global zero carbon economy and what you can see in the background with this whole ecosystem about uh, producing batteries but also forming the larger EV industry right but isn't it interesting how they speak specifically here also about um, you know a vehicle to battery separation that's a huge one that's the technical term for uh, that the battery is not part of the overall vehicle chassis so that's the physical separation but then also there's the financial separation who is owning the battery pack versus um, you know is it just part of the car sale and so on so this already tells you it's about the the business model here uh, of CATL and I said in previous videos that I think CATL might be interested in actually diversifying their business in terms of now they are the biggest um, manufacturer of uh, batteries but maybe they want to go more high margin with services on top and also diversify out of B2B into B2C business and yeah, this time at the Shanghai Auto Show, when I've been also to the booth of CATL, for the first time I saw them uh, displaying their battery swap station. And again, also that's part of the media release. And on top of that, it's also been part in this whole, um, you know, what I always recommend reading this. I mean, it's many, many pages, but the, uh, the global offering, the prospectus, uh, which is all of the fine print around this, um, you know, IPO and so on. And it's also... Uh, has been part of that um, it's getting uh, its own section here battery swapping solutions so uh, yeah battery swapping might really be one reason why this company uh, is going to raise funds and go publicly traded uh, because now they are seeking to you know play a bigger role an even bigger role in this whole EV industry and maybe the whole energy transition industry because uh, what battery swapping could actually add to that is the vehicle to, to grid services, uh, which battery swapping plays a major role uh, because of the separation between the vehicle and the battery pack and uh, also the financial separation. This one is much more uh, you know, deemed to play a, a larger role uh, when the company is owning the battery assets in vehicle to grid solutions than uh, the solutions that we see that are trying to get customers that are owning an EV to play a part in a vehicle to grid system, right? So and I think CATL is getting that. And this is frankly also the link to NEO, right? We've seen these partnerships forming between NEO and CATL. I mean, CATL has been invested in the NEO battery asset management company for a while, but uh, and NEO has been procuring batteries from CATL. So they know all of the numbers and the insights about battery swapping business. But now this has been part of this greater efforts by NEO to broaden out uh, battery swapping in the industry with the partnerships that have been announced. So NEO had, has its own so, um, stack of partners which are producing their own vehicles, well, designing and then producing them and uh, bringing them out based on the new swapping standards and new battery swap stations. But then CATL is not only doing this partnership with NEO and saying, yes, we are going to build out that in, uh, in, in a common interest, but also they are doing the same thing on their own um, and have partnered with a couple of um, other manufacturers. So most recently here, Chang'an starts to deliver CATL-based battery swap 
um, battery swappable cars that are built on the CATR shock block system and that's going into well a fleet of uh, caps so that's a very good use case and uh, I talked about in the past how I see the difference between the, the standards pushed by CATR and NEO one more uh, this one actually uh, more on the low tech side enabling very affordable battery swappable cars in the um, ride hailing business and also in the commercial business but also the more affordable models that maybe are not dependent on something like water cooling systems or uh, very performance systems as, instead of the neo system where it's much more uh, targeted at the high performance cars and premium to luxury branded cars and so on so that's where i kind of see this um, differentiation playing out but um, we do have some speculation and question marks on you know, how uh, tight this uh, whole partnership between uh, CATL and NEO is actually going. For one, they invested partly in NEO Power and I think NEO has something that they really want. They have the whole experience in the services part. NEO is a service company. So that's what bat uh, CATL wants to achieve, uh, getting away from battery manufacturing only to also being a player in the B2C business and also in the services business, in a high margin business. And um, so naturally with Neo Power, there is something very exciting there for CATL, which they possibly also want to uh, do on their own potentially. And then at the same time, we see by Neo the move. So this is a, a registration of the uh, of a China, uh, of a new company, a subsidiary, where they're now adding uh, a new uh, business license part, which is Dianche um, Zhizhou and Dianche Xiaoshou. So the the um, manufacturing and sales of batteries. Uh, we've heard in the past how Neo was actually scaling back their own bat battery manufacturing um, efforts because of cost cutting and um, projects that are uh, that did not go as well as planned. But now after the partnership with CATL has formed, they're bringing that back in. So I'm only speculating here that maybe they want to achieve a little bit of a balance between who is manufacturing, who is providing the services. And then on top of that, with all of these partnerships that each of them have, CATL and NEO, um, maybe those partners also would like to purchase from different entities. And so that's all coming um, in a way of us separating those type of uh, business activities based on what kind of um, R&D and technology and standards each of the uh, providers has actually to offer. And then at the same time, uh, who is doing what in this whole new ecosystem that is forming there. So this kind of leads me to speculate here that this partnership between CATR and NEO might actually go a little bit more deeper than what meets the eye currently and we are only about to find out in the future. Oh, by the way, at the Shanghai Auto Show, I caught the CATL CEO Robinson picking up his NEO ET9 together with William Lee. They celebrated live on stage. So, well, just a little side story here. What's definitely the case here is that with this big IPO by CATR, um, battery swapping may get actually more traction and as well as will be noticed more by both the industry players, but in the end also by the consumers which get more models and from different brands. And so I expect that uh, there will be a, a whole uptake of battery swapping um, based on that and CATL and NEO obviously would like to form the future of that and all of the services connected around that like vehicle to grid, like um, recycling, like the whole warranty insurance issues and topic and that. And we see that with the importance of battery swapping in the CATL IPO, in my opinion. So not many people know what CATL is doing in a battery swapping area. It's becoming more and more clear. And there are hidden links with NEO and not so hidden links anymore with the investments from both sides and the activities uh, overlapping now between manufacturing and services provided. And let's also not forget about this recent NEO offering that was only in Hong Kong dollar, right? Uh, it's timed around the uh, uh, CATL IPO as well. It's very speculative whether or not there is any connection between um, the offering by NEO and anything related to CATL here. However, it was priced in Hong Kong dollars. It was not targeted at the US at all. It was quickly subscribed and just around a time where CATL is making a Hong Kong IPO and seemingly want to acquire more stake in the NEO power business and speaking about battery swapping. I don't know. 
uh, just want to throw it out there. Let's not forget about this. I think that's very exciting because it's showing a breakthrough in battery swapping and we know who's leading that game. That's NIO for now, but CATL certainly will not stand still either.